In this video, we're going to talk about how our monster storm is finally going to wrap up by bringing some snow and ice to the Midwest and some thunderstorms in the South. And then we have to talk about an upcoming concerning situation as another powerful storm is developing, which could be very bad news for Dixie Alley. Welcome back, y'all. Ryan Hall here with the Weather Forecast. Before we get started with this video, I want to thank everybody who joined our live severe weather coverage the other day. We tracked multiple tornadoes, gained over 1,000 subscribers, and just had a really productive time relaying information during a major event. Also, here's a sneak peek at the Storm Seeker. I finally got the wrap on there and now it's in the shop getting the lift kit put on. I will hopefully have it done before April. Now let's start talking about the weather. All right, here's a big old look at the United States of America. And as you can see, our big monster snowstorm that dropped record-breaking snows in Colorado and Wyoming and Nebraska and South Dakota is now dropping snow in Iowa and Minnesota, just like we thought it would. And we've also got some freezing rain and a little bit of snow working into Illinois now. That's going to work towards the Chicago region. And then south of that, we do have those pesky rain showers going all the way down into Mississippi and Alabama, where there is a marginal risk for severe weather today. Let's take a look at the future on the weather models. All right, we're going to start off with the NAM. If you want to keep up with the time and all that, right there it is, right above my head. So here we are around 2 p.m. Eastern, around the time this video goes up, we're going to see that ice and mixed precipitation really spreading into Illinois and Indiana. From Springfield, Illinois, all the way to Indianapolis, we can expect some of that frozen precipitation falling. And it could be heavy at times. There's a lot of moisture out here to work with so we got to watch out for that and then on the northern side we're still talking about some moderate to heavy snow showers going on in northern Iowa and southern Minnesota right there around the Cedar Falls and Minneapolis area expect some snow showers and a little bit of accumulations actually going on up there we'll talk more about that here in a second but let's push this forward and watch how fast everything dies out it literally just goes away <laughs> it hits a brick wall over here and it says nope I'm out and actually what it's hitting is our you know zonal polar flow up here uh, that's just kind of ripping this apart. If that wasn't there, this storm would probably actually continue onto the coast and bring some snow over here for the New England areas. Now on Tuesday, we're going to be left with some rain showers all across the Ohio Valley and Southeast down here. Some of those rain showers may be freezing rain or mixed precipitation in Virginia and maybe even up here in uh, Michigan and Northern Ohio. All right, let's whoop back it up once again and let's talk about those severe weather parameters and i'm focusing on the southeast down here because guys i'm just to be honest with you that's what we're going to be focusing on uh, for a little while we're going to start off around 1 p.m today and as you can see uh, we've got that ice and some mixed precipitation moving into the uh, illinois and indiana regions it's actually going to make it as far east as indianapolis and maybe even, even into western ohio um, and then these showers and storms are going to continue all the way down here into mississippi and alabama some of these could be strong or severe today especially around uh, 5 p.m. there in central Alabama, uh, north of Birmingham, near the Coleman region. Uh, I would watch northwest Alabama uh, all the way up into Huntsville uh, for the potential for some isolated severe weather events today. Nothing too crazy going on there. Now, let's briefly go over to the central United States. And as I push this forward, watch what happens here. We get our, no our next storm form up right here. Around midnight on Wednesday, we've got a big storm forming up here in the panhandle of Texas and Oklahoma. Uh, we've got snow on the backside in southern Colorado and northern New Mexico. And we've already got, here we are at midnight, we've got big storms popping up here in um, Kansas, Oklahoma, and Texas. Let's push this forward just a little bit. This is going to rapidly intensify as we have more storms forming up here in Oklahoma and Kansas. And then, and then once we get later in the day on Wednesday, 7 a.m., 8 a.m. Watch what's happening here. We get a big area of storms that forms up here in the front uh, in uh, Mississippi, Tennessee, and Alabama. Those could be severe, and they're going to work all the way up into Tennessee there. And then right around 10 a.m., this is where it gets really concerning to me, okay? I don't want to be the guy uh, on YouTube who's like hyping up weather events because he's a weather weenie and stuff. I actually try really hard uh, not to do that. But in this case, I'm sounding the alarm, okay? This is what you need to do. If you live in Dixie Alley, Tennessee, Arkansas, Louisiana, anywhere in that area right there you need to prepare now okay i'm sounding the proverbial alarm um, obviously right now at this very second there's nothing going on uh, but this is looking very concerning to me this could be another moderate risk event uh, where i'm going live and, con and, and covering a potential tornado outbreak in this area as we go forward let me show you here let's go back to the southeast look at this we've got a wide open warm sector here an unstable warm sector in front of a powerful low pressure system uh, with a big trough we've got jet stream winds coming up through here at around 100 
100 miles an hour. We've just got rapid destabilization of the atmosphere down here in Dixie Alley, especially in Mississippi there. Um, as after this big area of rain goes by, watch what happens here as I push this forward. This is honestly one of the craziest runs of the NAM model I've seen in severe weather season in a long time. Let's push this forward a little bit. Watch what happens here. We get massive areas of supercell thunderstorms popping up from around four o'clock to 7 p.m. Uh, we could be talking about supercell thunderstorms popping up right here along this cold front and dry line. And those storms could get very significantly strong. Once again, let me play this out for you. There comes a warm front and then a cold front right behind it. And this is wide open. This is wide open. Anything could happen out here as this uh, this area of the atmosphere will very rapidly destabilize. Let's look at our significant tornado parameter. This is just, once again, it's off the charts uh, for pretty much the whole state of Mississippi working into uh, areas of Arkansas here in Tennessee. Uh, but remember, the areas that are, are most likely to have convection is going to be right in through here. So Arkansas, Mississippi, southwestern Tennessee. I'm very concerned with this model run because what this is showing is that the conditions are pretty much perfect uh, for tornadoes to form. And we're going to have that convection there. We're going to have that warm sector untouched by anything. And uh, we could see uh, some big storms go up. Let's take a look at that surface convective energy. And as you can see, it just rapidly blows up there. We're near 3,000 joules per kilogram of convective energy uh, through Arkansas all the way through Mississippi and western Alabama here. I mean, this is uh, this is looking very serious, guys. Right now is the time. If you live in this area, Arkansas, Tennessee, Mississippi, Louisiana, western Alabama, all of Alabama, let's just call it that. Uh, right now is the time to make sure you have a good radar app, Radar Omega or Radar Scope. And also it's a good time to get you a NOAA weather radio from Midland. Okay. Uh, you're not always going to hear the tornado sirens outside. You might not live near a tornado siren. Uh, you might not have your phone on you in an instance where a tornado warning is getting ready to, to be issued. That NOAA weather radio will blurt it out. You will not miss that uh, if a tornado warning is issued for your area. And uh, unfortunately, I do believe we'll be dealing with a lot of uh, tornado warnings on this day. If this continues uh, to to show stuff like this we, we are going to see a, a very significant severe weather event on Wednesday um, and it's going to be a long day for a lot of people including me I will be covering it live here on YouTube uh, so make sure you're subscribed with notifications on so you can tune into that and uh, let's take a look at some other things the supercell composite there is also looking pretty nasty but let me play this simulated radar back for you again once more just look at that um, once again, it's looking very likely that a significant severe weather event is going to happen here, guys. Anywhere in the enhanced risk needs to be getting ready for a significant severe weather outbreak. I'm talking about Little Rock. I'm talking about Jackson, Mississippi, Memphis, uh, Birmingham, Tuscaloosa, maybe even as far north and west as uh, southeastern Missouri there and northern Arkansas. So and maybe even southern Illinois and western Kentucky. This could be a broad, uh, widespread outbreak. But we're going to really uh, figure out what's going to happen more in depth tomorrow as some more data comes out I'm gonna make a, a completely updated video on this situation tomorrow so make sure you stay tuned for that don't freak out I just want to make sure I'm doing my best to convey the message that this is a severe situation uh, we've got a lot of people that watch this channel now and I want to make sure that we're doing everything we can to keep people safe okay now let's talk about the rest of the forecast really briefly remember on the back side of this storm when we're not talking about severe weather on the front we are gonna be talking about uh, some heavy snow on the back side here look at this around 8 a.m. on March 17th we're talking about heavy snow all the way down in the panhandle of texas and that's going to go through kansas and it's going to go up into nebraska and iowa and eventually it's going to bring maybe some snow to the chicago area around uh, the evening hours on thursday and then our big severe weather maker down here it may bring some more severe weather to the carolinas and georgia uh, on friday thursday and friday and we'll talk about that more as we go forward uh, but look at this we might have some snow in new england massachusetts rhode island connecticut new york city it's possible that we, we see some snow early in the morning on friday uh, March 19th around 8 a.m. Uh, and that's not going to last very long. And it's not going to put down a ton of snow. And look at this. We might even see a little bit of snow all the way down in the Delmarva Peninsula uh, on Friday. So uh, we're, we're going to keep our eye on that too, but it's not looking like a snowstorm or anything. And then it looks like we get a little bit of a break. Look at here on uh, Sunday. looks like very favorable weather all the way through the Midwest here. And uh, basically what's happened is our big storm that's going to cause our severe weather outbreak is just taking all of the moisture with it. Like it's just looming it down here to the Yucatan Peninsula. And then we're just going to have to wait for our our moisture to ramp back up before we get any more severe weather out here but watch this look at that do you see this what the heck is that? 
the Euro is showing possibly maybe our first tropical system of the year forming up on March uh, 22nd. I don't know. I don't know about this. We'll, we'll have to watch it uh, very closely, but you know, that's showing a, a 999 millibar low pressure system forming off the coast of the Carolinas and throwing back some heavy rain there possibly uh, for the coastal areas of North Carolina and Virginia, especially. And then that's going to go out to sea. And then we finally do start to see our resurgence of moisture back here. And we're going to be talking about some more severe weather outbreaks for traditional tornado alley and Dixie alley uh, as we go later on into March. And it looks like to me, April is going to be very active. And that's all the weather talk I have for you today. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did slap a like on it, hit that subscribe button and turn notifications on. And remember, uh, we're going to talk about this system much more in depth tomorrow because we're going to have a lot more data to look through. We're going to have a much better idea of what's going to happen tomorrow. So tomorrow's video may be long. Remember that. Okay. And turn those notifications on so you don't miss it. And I will see you tomorrow. Goodbye. Woo!